Hello, we are talking about groundwater contamination today. So this will be a little bit of a review because we talked about things that can happen when you overdraw groundwater before in our hydrosphere unit. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so here are the goals for this video. I already have them written down in your guided notes for you. Okay, so here's a little bit of a review on groundwater. So first of all, groundwater is the water that is located beneath the Earth's surface in soil pore spaces and in the fractures of rock formations. So this groundwater is filtered by the soil when it infiltrates into the soil. So a lot of times it's a lot cleaner than surface water. And because it's a lot cheap, cleaner than surface water, it's easier to treat um, to bring it up to drinking water quality, so that makes it cheaper to use as a drinking water source. So we have um, three terms that we need to review. So there's saturation. So that is when all of the pore space or all of the space between soil particles is completely filled with water. And so where the ground is 100% saturated, that is our water table. So the top layer um, where the soil is completely saturated, that's your groundwater table. Infiltration is when the water goes from the surface of the earth into the soil. From the surface of the earth into the soil. And this can be water, this could be something else too. All right, so. Water and other things always move from high pressure to low pressure. So high pressure to low pressure. So, um, and groundwaters create an area of low pressure because they are removing water particles from the ground. So it's allowing water particles to have more space around which creates a low pressure area. Um, so groundwater wells tend to attract things. So we can use this principle to track where potential groundwater contaminants might have come from. Okay, so we've been talking about contamination a little bit. So um, contamination would make it really not great for you to use groundwater as drinking water. So it can lower the quality of the drinking water. You can lose the drinking water source completely. Um, it could degrade surface waters if the surface waters and the groundwaters are connected. It can be really expensive to clean up because groundwater is really hard to access and you can't really see when you've gotten all of it um, to treat it. So it can be really expensive to clean up any contamination. It can cause really bad health problems um, like birth defects and um, it could potentially cause cancer, who knows? Depends on what's in it. And it can also degrade wildlife habitats, which is never good. So Places that contamination can come from include saltwater intrusion. So if um, your groundwater well, if you remove too much of the fresh water, then the salt water can just kind of sneak in and take its place. So it's a movement of salt water into groundwater. Um, underground storage tanks of gasoline and other hazardous substance substances um, can are usually made of metal and they can corrode or rust over time. And so that causes them to leak and then they spill out into the groundwater. Um, septic systems or septic tanks uh, are where we use soil to treat human waste. And if they are poorly designed or when they get old, they can leak human waste um, into the groundwater. Uh, naturally occurring substances like arsenic, iron, some radioactive materials that are found in bedrock um, can be dissolved into groundwater. So we want to be careful for that. That's not something that humans cause, but it's something that we need to look out for. And then there's also landfills. Um, so when we create a landfill, it's usually lined with clay or um, a plastic liner. But as that garbage decomposes, it produces a toxic liquid called leachate. And that toxic liquid can leak into groundwater if that liner um, breaks or cracks or wears away or if it was improperly constructed to start with. And then fertilizers from farms, um, they can infiltrate through the ground on which it was applied and get into the groundwater, just like water would infiltrate. So maybe water on the surface would um, 
dissolves some of the fertilizers like the nitrogen and the phosphates and it would bring it on down through the soil into the groundwater and there's lots of other ways that you can contaminate groundwater sources um, and hopefully I was sharing my computer slide with you my thing with you but I don't think I was so that's good that's good um, okay well we'll start over there all right Hello, Earth and Environmental Science. Um, today we are talking about groundwater, so this will be a little bit of a review for some of you. Um, well, for all of us. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are our goals for the video. Okay, so we have um, some review to talk about groundwater. So if we remember, groundwater is the water that's located beneath the Earth's surfaces in the soil pore spaces and in fractures of rock formations. Um, when, so the water is filtered by the soil when it infiltrates. So that makes groundwater cleaner than surface water. Um, and it's because it's cleaner, it's cheaper to treat and cheaper to use as a drinking water source. So if we will remember saturation is when all of the pore spaces between sediment particles are filled with water. Our water table is the level of saturated soil in the ground, the level of the groundwater. So the top of the water table is the very topmost layer where all of the soil particles are completely, all of the pore spaces between the soil particles are completely saturated. And then infiltration is when water sinks down from the ground surface into the soil. Okay, so water and other things always move from high pressure to low pressure. Groundwater wells remove water, so they're removing water particles. They create areas of low pressure, so things tend to gravitate towards, move towards groundwater wells. Um, and we can use this principle to track the source of potential contaminants. All right, so we have some effects of contamination. We can lower the Drinking water quality can cause a loss of a drinking water source if it gets too badly contaminated. We could degrade surface waters if the surface waters and the groundwaters are connected. Or um, it can be really expensive to clean up groundwater contamination because it's really hard to get to. It can cause all sorts of health problems depending on what it's contaminated with. It could be like bacterial infections if it's contaminated with human waste or even like causing cancer. And it could also cause degradation of wildlife habitat. Okay, so things that can cause groundwater contamination are saltwater intrusion or when we pull out too much fresh water. And so the salt water comes in to take the place of where that fresh groundwater used to be. Um, we can have underground storage tanks of gasoline and other hazardous materials, um, which are buried in metal tanks. So those tend to corrode or rust over time. And that leaks out into the soil and then down onto the groundwater. Um, we can have septic systems that might leak. So that's when we use soil to treat human waste and they can be poorly designed or if they get to be too old, um, then they can leak into the groundwater. And so that's putting human waste and bacteria into the groundwater, which is not great. Um, naturally occurring substances, so things that are naturally found in soil and bedrock, um, like arsenic and iron and radioactive material, those things can be dissolved into the groundwater. That's obviously not any fault of human, but it's just something we have to look out for. Um, landfills, so um, as the garbage in a landfill decomposes, it produces a toxic liquid called leachate that can leak into the groundwater. And if the liner at the bottom of the landfill breaks or cracks or wears away, or if it was improperly constructed, um, it can leak into the groundwater. And then fertilizers from agriculture or from people's lawns um, can infiltrate down into the soil with the rain and then get into the groundwater and into um, groundwater sources. So that's also not great. And then there's lots of others um, that we don't have time to talk about. So, okay. Hmm. All right, well, hopefully you saw all of my pretty pictures and stuff and that's the end of the video.